Devon. Hey, William. If I drew a line between loop and your old papa, what would we have? Oh, lots of countries in between. Are we discussing the running order of Eurovision semifinal two? You must have been looking at my mood board on Pinterest. Should we talk about the semifinal two running order? <laughs> Let's do this! All right, you guys. First, let's just review who's competing and when. Please note that the big five countries and host Sweden have been allocated to the semifinals to perform an exhibition. So they get experience, but you can't vote for them. So that's why there's not a number by their name. In the first half, we have Malta, followed by Albania, Greece, Switzerland, and Czechia. Then you've got France performing, and then Austria, Denmark, Armenia, and Latvia. Then you've got the exhibition from Spain, San Marino, Georgia, Belgium, Estonia, Italy performs, then Israel, Norway, and the Netherlands. All right, so let's kick it off with Malta. Look, I thought they were going to open this with a dance song. So when I was making my predictions, I was like, it's going to be Malta or Austria. And then when I think about the two performers, I think Austria has basically, she's going to have better choreo because she's like a world champion dancer. No one can touch her dancing. So I was like, they'll put Malta first. And they did. You know, this is a danceable song. I think it's a solid opener. It's just a dance, actually, at this point. <laughs> I am still sing the song. There you go. You know, it, 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 but I, it, as you know a performance, what? it is outstanding. But it's not Chanel because, you know, Chanel actually did have a song. It's not Eleni Ferreira has a song. It's not Tamta has a... You know, do you understand what I mean? Like... It's got great instrumental breaks. Yeah, it's just... It's just... It's just a dance off. So it's not looping in your head. Ah, I just don't feel like... This is. I think I would like it to go through, though. I'd yeah, like because it it's a go, great TV performance. Yeah, this is a TV I'd show. I'd like it to go through, but so, this is not something I'm reaching to play yeah, on my CD But you know what's player. interesting? Some people would read that as shade. I read it as realistic, because you can still succeed even if the song is not a hit. It's about the visuals. Look, all I know is this. Whenever you say Malta, I say, Let our guards down and break the taboo before we all become animals, animals. You've got to be your own miracle. Yeah, oh, and a, you know, I'm, I mentioned that in the book. In my book, I mentioned, I quote Deb. This is funny. In my, do you, did you recognize this? In the book Wild Dances, I quote Deb and Adarimi quoting Christabel singing tattoo. If you want to find out why, you gotta buy. <laughs> And, you know, I think, and, you know, yeah, yeah, actually, it is a good book to buy. But also, beyond that, your Pinterest. Girl. The, let's William, I love what you're doing with it these days. It's so funny. Let's not talk about my Pinterest. I started it in 2010, 11, and I have not updated it. But we go back to the running order. Albania is second. The slot always, of death. always, always. I'm sick of it. Albanians should start protesting. Or Albanians should start sending songs that don't deserve to be put in second. No, I, I'm sorry. We have to be honest. I love Beza as a singer. Oh, but you know what? I feel she's actually weakened the song. I yeah, prefer I the, preferred the original. I prefer the Festival of Kanga's version. I preferred the original. I think Albanian gave it mystery, made it yeah. feel of a place. And she is mysterious. She's beautiful. beautiful I do woman. like the kind of rap break. It changes towards the end. Oh, I don't know. I pr I prefer it at Festival of Congress. Yeah, but you you in your reaction video to Titan, you dropped it like it was hot. You, Yo, you know what? You know? The Were, visual, you yeah, Were you keeping it the real? Absolutely. Were you keeping it real? Because what I'm hearing right now is a different story. It's like two different books. Why don't you focus on your Pinterest? <laughs> Why don't you focus on keeping it real? <laughs> Mr. Debonetta, Remy, Remy, Blogs.com. People okay. think... Uh, you know what? I actually really like it. And I think visually it is stunning. I understand why she's gone for English. You know, if you think about Bibi Raja, you think about, um, what's that girl's name? Rita Ora. You think <laughs> that about girl, Dua, Dua Lipa. Lipa. You know, a lot of them have built very successful careers outside of, you know, they're global superstars. And, you know, the, com the commonality is they're all Albanian, right? Coastal but, are so, Albanian. Yeah, yeah, but why... Is it, why hasn't Indita Halimi got that sort of career? I mean, she can sing better than all three combined. Um, being able, you know, there are different takes on singing. You know, holding long notes, power, 
has not been beaten. She's incredible, Lindita. Has Halimi. not been beaten. No, the but... longest note in Eurovision. Listen, Lindita Halimi deserves a mood board. All right, listen. Albania second. I get it. Um, no, but it's so unfair though to sandwich Albania second. But again. I think things are, are looking great. For, things are looking great for Greece in third because I think Greece. It was going to stand out wherever it is, but I think coming off the back of Albania, because Albania is a song that I think takes itself very seriously. Sinan Sadula really likes Greece. Greece right? is great. I really like Greece. I think Greece is of its own planet. It's like she's trolling us, but we're in on the joke, so you don't feel bad. It's just hilarious. And so what's the song about? Uh, Dice. Zari, she basically wanted to present stereotypes of Greece, the feta, the tourism, mm. and suggest there's a lot more to it. Are you not a fan of Greece? You know what? I, it's not like I'm not a fan of her, but... You don't like the song? You can be honest. This is a safe space. I've, I've, I'm consistently honest with you. So you don't like it? No, I don't. Let me just, let me just check this out. Let me just what, check, check the out. song or the... No, let me just check. What what are you doing? I'm checking. What are, what are you your scores? Yeah, I just want to see. <laughs> Our girl wants to be consistent. Ah, Midlink. You yeah. you ranked it Midlink. So you see, I didn't like. In fact, no, it's it's above Midlink. Midlink. That's Midlink. But I love it. I gave it. I ranked it very high. It's one of my favorite of the year. Uh, but look, this is about the running order. So after Greece, you have Switzerland. So Lucy this, Percy was telling me how much she loves Switzerland. It's fantastic. Today. The intensity is building, basically from Albania to Greece to Switzerland. So I think it's actually, again, very good for Switzerland because it's part of this momentum. Albania is like, you know, kind of flat. I mean, Greece is giving you I'm lots sorry, of but this. the gaffa is wide open in the semifinal. And it, 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 it's like... Uh, it's girl! Like, it's like that. I'm sorry. These countries... Um, it's so unfair, actually, because this is a considerably weaker semi-final. Switz I would actually argue this is quite strong. Switzerland goes through so many genres. Nemo, they are really giving us a different flavor. There's a video of them rapping in a pink tutu, and it was so aggressive. Life-changing. It was no... Did you not like it? Who's next? You don't like Switzerland? I don't dislike it, but I just don't... You know, I just, I just feel like not everything... Not everything needs to be elevated to the high heaven. Are you? Tell me what you dislike about Switzerland, because I'm getting it's some negativity. Not, no, I, there's no negativity about it. But I just think, I just think it's just okay. You, okay, so you think it's overhyped? Yeah. You don't agree that it should be a favorite to win the Eurovision Song Contest 2024? It's the fourth with the betting odds uh, in the betting odds. Fourth to win overall, and I understand why. You're kidding me. It's shape shifting, as you would say. There's so many different genres in here, from drum and bass to um, rap. Is there some rock or even techno? It's just got a lot going on, and I think Nemo, if they can deliver it with thrust, vim, vigor, and power, it'll be effective. I've heard the staging is huge. That's what the grapevine is telling me. The staging is going to be huge in your face and wild. Would that convince you, Devin Adderamy, WeeBlogs.com? I think my music trends haven't morphed into 2024. If this is the kind of music that's coming out, I'm sorry, I don't know. Funnily enough, the next one in line, Czech, Czech Republic, yeah. I love that. The you revamp don't... is incredible. No, I love it. I love it. I love it. I worry for it, but I love it. I would put Czechia through. I would put it through. And I think actually, it's got a, it's it's got darkness in it, but it's also a sweet female. Oh, pop. I think it's excellent. You know, pop rock female. I think of Ireland 2009, Sinead Mulvey and Black Daisy. Female pop bop. I love that. I love it. This is that with more edge. I want it to go through. Um, do you know what I love about it as well? I love that she doesn't sing it sweetly. She actually yeah. sings it with anger and, you know. It's, Ooh, yeah. Maybe that's bad, though, because Switzerland has a similar vibe and they're right next to each other because they both channel anger. Nemo in particular channels anger. But I think Czech has a stronger melody. And it's more affirming. Okay. That's what Switzerland's thinking about. Switzerland is about Nemo discovering their non-binary. In between the ones okay, and you know, O's, it, they I, cracked the code. I, I, I salute expressions of sexuality and identity, but I feel like, ultimately, it is so niche at this point. What's niche? 
Switzerland. Switzerland. How well, is that niche? Well, well, I mean, the whole thing about the the non-binary. Yeah, but stuff. musically, you can access yeah, no, the song what I'm beyond. Is, yeah, the but message. what I'm saying is like looking within and channeling your inner strength and put yourself on a pedestal and don't don't be trampled on by society. Mm. It's mm. considerably more universal. Yeah, surely. Okay, you're suggesting. Surely. You're suggesting it's more accessible to like the mass oh, audience. Sister, <clears throat> and a melody that you can put. You know, you it can is a good put melody. on. But. Myself on a bed. Listen, let's sing Switzerland. Undundundu hell and back to find my home. Yeah, I can sing it. That's no, good. thank you. That's thank good. you. Thank That's you. Good. I am not I, a singer. I actually couldn't remember. I'm not a it. singer. No, but I couldn't remember. But listen. It at all. This is actually good for Slamen. Now, I know Slamen is not competing, but France performs after Czechia. And after the kind of in-your-face Greece, Switzerland, Czechia, yeah, but I just think, we have know, this beautiful ballad. Having, you know, these big five, it's fraudulent. It's not fraudulent. They deserve a chance to practice on this stage in front of a global TV audience, just like the semifinalists. You're going to say, well, they're automatically qualified. Yeah. That's unfair. Well, you know what? I'm sure taxpayers in those countries would say, it's unfair, we got to foot this bill. So, you know, we move on. <laughs> Actually, you know who benefits from France? Who? It's Austria. Because we're going, talk about a mood change. We're going from this beautiful ballad in France to the 90s Euro dance techno rave of Kaleen. We will rave. It's excellent, isn't it? It's excellent. Isn't it? It's, it's excellent. It's, it's, it's its own, you It's know. its own universe. Mm. It's its own warehouse filled with men from Germany's Next Top Model. And it's in a sandwich between France and Denmark. So you've got some rye... Denmark is giving us bland rye bread. France is giving us sober baguette. And in the middle, you've got some filth from Austria. Mm. <laughs> I, mean, I, really, I don't mean filth in a bad way. I uh, mean sticky nights I and dance it. floors. This is great for Austria, I think. But you know what is not so great? On the 23rd of March, Ernst & Young, tell me what they did. You had to lock your scores for the Wee Wee Jury. And are you saying you shafted our girl Colleen? No, I'm just saying You're that. off the blog. Get out of here. <laughs> no, we're done. <laughs> you do no one offends Queen Colleen. This she is the have you seen her Insta lives? Sweetest woman. I don't make up the Sweetest Ernst and woman. Young rules. I don't make up the Ernst and Young rules. So you're suggesting you would elevate your score now. You know, I Why just, did you rank it low in the first place? Was I it, don't no 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 no. I didn't rank it low. I mean, come me on, that. come on. I I, I I I didn't rank it low. That's I love I love how you turn this into the Streisand effect. Blasphemy, <laughs> it's blasphemy. And my my, you ask me what my sexuality is. Ask yeah. me my sexuality. What, what is your sexuality? We will rave. Okay, that is my sexuality, and I am deeply offended. All right, but look, we need to move on. Denmark is after Austria. I think that's bad for Denmark. It was already a slightly beige song, and coming after the slick choreography movement, our girl Saba stands in place. Colleen's going to be putting legs above I her head. I understand why she's elevated as well, Saba. I hope they don't replicate Dance Melody Grand Prix. Do you think they will? Not? They copy and paste. <gasps> they typically copy and paste. Oh, not with Riley, though. That was completely different. It needed to be. Ah! <laughs> and it still didn't work. So, yeah, we move on. This is interesting. Armenia is one of the few... It's probably the most ethnic song, ethnic folk. folk. It's serving identity. And it comes immediately after Denmark, which is, a you know, giving us that sort of... I don't want to say generic, but giving us that Nordic cool... Denmark is like Nordic cool, a little cold even, like refined. Yeah, technology. and this really transitions completely out of that. It's messy. Armenia is messy, and that's a good thing. Hmm. I think that's a really good thing for them. And then this is a nice tonal shift. From Armenia, we go to Latvia. So from the whack, not wacky, but from the high upbeat folk energy. Yeah, so the more grounded, centered kind of, you know, from within, you know, good core. One of yeah, the few male ballads yeah, we have. Yeah, Latvia is really good. I, I think this is great for them. Great for Dons. And then after them is Spain. So, you know, I think if Latvia tugged on your heartstrings, Spain is then going to sort of make you want to move your body. <laughs> Spain is going to tickle your testicles. Girl! I'm all about it. I'm all about Spain. 
you know what? There's a touching quality to Spain. Yeah. And so maybe Dons is emotionally, Latvia, Dons, is emotionally preparing people to embrace Maria because your heart will already be open. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Then we go to San Marino. Oh, um, Spanish after Spanish. Magara, of course, are from Spain. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the century. I'm not either. Yeah. Thank you for being honest. No, I, I am, unlike you with Colleen and this kind of re, re, rejig of your score, Ernst and Young, blah, blah. Um, I think maybe it benefits San Marino to come after Spain because the Spanish fans in the house will already be excited. You're accelerating too fast. I'm still tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still settling in on your shade. Yeah, because I don't know. In any case, but you take my point. Spanish people in the audience who cheered for Spain will then get to cheer immediately afterwards for Magara. <clears throat> well, let's just... I, I can't see the votes moving beyond I just think either. musically it's... There's oh, nothing, I'm sorry. And you know, you know, the, you know the visual ex execution... That's of nice. The, uh, I like it. What is it? Pink and black and... Candy cane uh, and acid. Oh. Like, I'm sorry. But I'm glad, hey, look, I'm glad they got their chance. I just think their song in Benidorm Fest was significantly better. Now, from the rock stylings of Now Rico, we're talking. We go to Georgia. And Georgia is going to get a good result at Eurovision. This, this, I'm so lucky that, you know, actually, Nutsa, did you hear about the horrible Oh, tragedy? it's awful. It's so, horrible. Our condolences to Nutsa, yeah, who lost her brother tragically. Really sad. Awful. At the worst time ever as well. Horrific. So, she... I still think she would have gone through in semi-final one, but comfortably going through in two. Oh, absolutely. Interestingly, this is, again, this song is giving you everything, giving the gays everything they want. Yes, queen. Dancing, movement. Excellent. There's like a, a slight ethnic quality. She's hot. She oh. Can, she's sizzling. She's setting fires. She says, call, you know, she's a firefighter. No, girl, you're flammable. I'm a firefighter. She, she's the opposite of a firefighter. She's I a fire starter. She's a I fire starter. Absolutely. Oh, it's so good! And it's coming after the hot mess of San Marino and before the kind of sobriety and intensity of Belgium. I think she pops out. Now, she rumor pops has out. it that you hate Belgium. No, no, I don't hate Belgium. Did you, you know? watch my reaction video? I don't hate Belgium. Oh, good. I think people, people always rush. What I said was, Belgium's a slow build, but if you stick with it, the payoff is worth it. But it is oh, a slow build. It is and, a slow build. Yeah, and not all viewers have patience. But oh, well, with the you know rising ADHD, you know Gen Z, you know, yeah, no, they might be gone before Malta <laughs> gets to the loop. You know, before Malta completes the loop, the Gen Z there. Ah. But listen, no, Bel from the fire of Georgia, we move to the darkness of Belgium. You know, we assume Belgium will do something dark because guess what? Belgium loves doing stuff that's dark. Yeah, they, they <laughs> and do. actually, that that doesn't it always pause for concern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Musti is the star. Yeah. Mo you know what? Musti is quite pale. So maybe the light, Before he will radiate the out. Is over. I, I think Musti was giving body in the music video, body with glitter. So maybe he's going to be the focal point of light, like lots of light. And he's going to like glow. I actually think He'll be gonna, the egg from I have Finland. I have a strong feeling it's going to be dark because yeah. that build, right? They're going to build an atmosphere around it. How do you build out? How do you build atmosphere? You turn down the lights. But, you know, give me some light because we got to see Musti. It's just... Are you, do, you, do you generally like to leave the lights on? <sighs> Girl, I'll keep those lights off when I go to bed. <laughs> when I go to bed! But that's all I'm willing to discuss in this video. All right. <laughs> <laughs> to find out more... <laughs> you got to check out my Pinterest. Or, <laughs> or, or you can read... Oh, oh, let's bring it back in the camera, girl. Or you can read Wild Dances, available on Amazon or wherever you get your books. There's a really sexy part here. Oh, girl, showing. please. No, no, no. Inappropriate. John, of course. Oh, no, no. no. Oh, yeah, that's oh! Not sexy. That ain't sexy. Right, that ain't sexy. We move on. So, after Belgium, we have Estonia. Oh. This is very interesting. I love Estonia. You clearly don't. And we go from when the party's over in Belgium to the party actually starting with Estonia. I think this is great for Estonia. I, I view Belgium as an art piece. Very serious. Very artistic. An art piece. And then Estonia's like, we're here to have fun. We're here to have fun. And you're yawning. You're yawning. Yeah. All right. We move on. My point still stands. Estonia warms up the crowd for Italy. And, you know, they'll be moving in Estonia and they'll keep moving with Italy. I actually think this, it doesn't hurt Angelina Mango, but I would have preferred Angelina Mango to come after, you know, a ballad or something less upbeat. Because her strength is the beat of the cumbia. 
And so, you know what I mean? Mm. So the cumbia off the back of a dance song is... Thoughts on Italy? You know, I like it. You know, I, when I first heard it, I really liked it. Um, I just... I, I just feel like all the surprises have been unveiled with it, though. I don't feel like it's mm. going to go beyond San Remo. And aesthetically, it's quite similar to Denmark, you know, with the gold and the... You oh, know. interesting. So, y yeah. I mean, she's great and, you know, it's great. And it'll, it'll get a good result overall anyway. But I don't feel like this is gunning for victory at this point. Not with the songs unveiling itself. Okay. And people will still be lingering from spot 11 because that will just blow uh, yeah. that will just blow things up. Put out the fire. <laughs> Honestly, we'll still smell Mitzah the fire. So she's strong. incredible. In the video when she's on the floor like it's a downward dog. She's on the floor and she's <sighs> dancing and shaking her hair. It's incredible. But listen, after Italy we have Israel. And we often talk about producers making practical decisions based on staging. Italy has no staging, right? Mm. It's basically her hips. Mm. And so I'm wondering if Israel has a big prop or something and producers were like, we need time to wheel it on the stage. Probably. I, d I don't know what they've got planned, but, you know, Israel takes Eurovision seriously. I mean, that's yeah, one thing that's that true. we know. They take Eurovision seriously. And, you know, given the fact that they've had to rejig and, you know, there was so much uncertainty about their participation. I think that they're not going to just put out a voice. They're, they're going to marry it with compelling visuals. So I'm actually quite excited to see what how this will emerge, you know? And I think tonally, you go from, you know, Estonia, in your face, dance, Italy, you know, dance. This is tonally a very big shift. And actually, in terms of the running order, in the final, basically, Estonia, Italy, Israel, Norway, Netherlands, Israel is the only one that's a ballad, right? It's the only, it's completely sonically different from honest, the others. So, I think putting Israel there was not a good idea if you're going to pair it next to Norway. Norway that, blows everything out of the water. Norway blows everything out of the <laughs> water, but Israel also is a very strong ballad, performed flawlessly. So, in a way, audibly, you could just create... Do you understand what I mean? I mean, Norway's lead singer, that voice... Ah. Uh, don't dis... I don't think Norway has anything to be worried about. Because Norway's going to pop out with the visuals, the spinning platform. Norway is... Norway is serving. And Norway is giving. Norway is serving, but I feel like it could have been put... I'm not so much against it being, like, second to last. Mm. What I'm against it is next to Israel. I think that you could have just, yeah, you could have transitioned with something else. And I think Belgium should have closed this. I think the issue today. is we don't have many ballads this year. There's just, there's so few ballads. Um, so 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 you think a good idea is to put both of them together? No, like but they that? space. No, but Norway's not a ballad. Italy's not a ballad. I think they have Latvia's a ballad. France is a ballad. Um, Albania. Mm, yeah. So basically, France and Latvia. And then Israel. So they had to space them out. So I think they were just spacing things out. Um, and then after Norway, we have the Netherlands. Netherlands is a great show closer. It's a great show closer. I think closer. Belgium would have been a better slip, um, show closer, don't Do you, you think? No, I think the Netherlands is dancey and boppy. Europa, Europa. I think Belgium is like are so artistic. Whereas it is artistic. the Netherlands, is, I mean, it's not artistic. It's great. And mm. I love it. But, it, you know, it's a happy, jaunty song to finish on. And maybe... Maybe Devin, he's got a massive prop. Hello, Europe! This is my prop! <laughs> yeah, bring Burka. <laughs> <laughs> we just don't know. Well, look. Ah, but you know, I'm less excited about the semi. Who would you have closed with? Would you have closed with another one? I place? would have closed with Belgium. Belgium? Yeah. And I would have opened with Austria. No, because that's too good of a performance. It's just no one's choreography would look good coming after that. Everyone would pale in comparison. The whole show, they'd be comparing it to Colleen doing her dance. Uh, but Maltesu is good, though. It is a strong. I mean, it's good it's strong as, as, a a, as a performance. Yeah, it is good. The, music, the revamp video is quite nice. Well, look, you're not excited by the semifinal. Not really. But what do you guys I think? think? There's just so many. There's so many songs that are just erased. Erased. Erase. Remove. Delete. It's just some songs. Oh, that, that you just, just don't, I just don't. Can you tell me two or three of them? You 
know what? Ernst and Young. You're gonna wait till the movie jury comes out. <laughs> Ernst and I Young. It. I get it. You don't want to keep it real. You like to keep it real in writing, but not in on screen. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Listen, that, have you seen my DMs, girl? <laughs> that's what we think. What do you think? Is semi-final two in the correct order to you? Who do you think benefits? And who do you think is hurt? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. William Lee Adams is on Pinterest and he has recently updated his mood board. You need to check out what some of the... I uh, mean, you know, uh, let's just uh, say, I'm going to give you two words. It's called Slovenian Navy. Girl, <laughs> we... Look, I would point you to OnlyFans. I'm sorry, I would... <laughs> Just kidding. I was going to say, <laughs> pleasure. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.